If you have started to come into the age of downloads, buying music online is an easy start to your download journey. Granted, you will still have to pay for the songs you love, but through some programs such as iTunes, Amazon, and subscription sites you can buy most tunes individually. The best part about downloading music is you can burn the songs off to CDS for your CD player, or take your tunes with you inside an MP3 player. There are many different types of MP3 devices out there too, but simply, it is a digital device that keeps a file copy of a song in its memory. Each player can hold a varied amount of your favorite songs so you can listen on the go. I discussed purchasing movies on iTunes in another article and the benefits for finding music are much the same. The advantage of using iTunes is you can download music then send your music to an iPod, which is the Apple company's MP3 player. However, there are other perks such as low prices per song, easy to use software, and a variety of online payment methods. iTunes is also one of the top rated music download programs for customer service frequent updates, and customer security. When you search through iTunes database for songs, you can also listen to clips of each song. Why should anyone have to pay for a tune they do not like? Visit iTunes to create an Apple and download iTunes to try the program out. Just follow the directions for account setup step by step, which is as easy as 1, 2, 3. Amazon is good for many different reasons such as buying books. The company is also good for downloading MP3s as well. They have an entire department just for MP3s. Amazon keeps its prices competitive with iTunes as well. You will need an Amazon account before you ever start to buy any songs, however. You can find almost any song on Amazon for sale by some amazing artists. It is considered one of the largest markets for MP3s next to iTunes. They have high customer satisfaction ratings, and it is safe to use the site because they protect their customers' payment methods to give Amazon a try. Go here to sign up for an account. Some of the other sites that exist on the web are Napster, eMusic, Rhapsody, and Spotify. These download sites are subscription-based music sites that will let you pay a monthly fee to download a certain amount of music a month. eMusic for example lets you buy the amount of music for the fee you pay and most songs are well under a dollar. The downside is that if you don't use your amount for the month, you lose it. Still for many people subscription sites are well worth what you pay. Regardless of where you go to get your music online, be sure to practice online safety always make sure you are using a program or site that is highly rated. Shop around for your online tunes also because there is a possibility that you can find the song cheaper somewhere else if it is over $2 run your virus scan and spyware scan software to make sure the site does not have any hidden problems. Most importantly, have fun with your online music journey. The two companies that are mentioned above are only two out of many programs and sites you can find online.